is up everyone this is your boy Eddie back here with another video I hope you guys are having a wonderful day or night depends on when you're watching this anyways guys I'm headed out to the lake I decided to try somewhere different today but I've been having a, a hard time catching fish lately it's been uh, been rough been cold water's cold fish aren't biting so I'll see you guys when I get out on the water. So you guys stay tuned. Oh yeah. There she is. My baby. Hopefully she'll do as good today and go out there and catch her some fish. Alright guys, so I just put the boat in the water. It is super, super foggy out here. I can't see. I can't even see the lake from here. I can just see what's in front of me. Um, you can barely even see the sun coming out. It's so foggy. I noticed one thing when I got out here, the water was a little bit higher than uh, than I was expecting it to be. I guess because we've been getting some rain during the week. That's kind of a good thing though. I'd rather it be a little bit higher than too low. Once the fog clears up and the sun comes out a little more, I think I'm gonna go hit some rocks over here with a jig and uh, see if I can get, get one on the jig on the bottom, moving it real slow, bouncing it off some rocks, so. You guys stay tuned should be a good day i'm hoping for it so let's get to it all right guys so this one i'm going to start off start off around this little island and just kind of work a moving bait around it and then uh, later on in the day like i said i'm gonna once the fog clears up and it warms up i'm gonna start uh switching over to a, a jig starting off with a white chatter bait see what that'll do for me it's pretty cold out here I think uh, this morning when I left the house it was about 36 degrees 35 degrees somewhere around there so the water temperature is right at 50 which is uh, a few degrees warmer than everywhere else I've been fishing all the other lakes that I've been fishing other than a power plant lake have been uh, 47 48 49 so hopefully that uh that 50 degrees mark do me good. Oh, I just got smashed, guys. I just got freaking hammered. I was actually adjusting my camera. Oh my God, how did he miss that? Wow. Last time I came out here, the water was really, really low. All this stuff that you guys see that's underwater right now, these trees and stuff, all of that was out the water. I think it's been about maybe five or six months since I've been out here. So, kind of coming out here clueless, trying to figure them out. And it was super, really cold. Like I said, it was 30 something degrees this morning, so that doesn't. That doesn't really help. It makes it a little tougher to figure these fish out. Great. start the morning off catching trees getting stuck in limbs missing fish okay all right guys i think i'm going to my second spot going to fish that jig didn't do no good at this spot got more trees than than fish on this spot so i'll see you guys when i get to the next spot all right guys i'm at spot number two of course i'm going with my old trusty jig see what we can get going with black and blue this is a 4d fishing jig just so you guys know so i'm gonna start number spot number two with 
gonna slowly work it on these rocks. Hopefully I can figure something out on them. Hopefully these fish will cooperate with me today. I'm telling you guys, it's been a rough, rough winter. It's probably the, one of the worst winters I've had as far as fishing. I mean, this has been a real tough bite everywhere I've gone. So hopefully today things will turn around for me. All right, quick update guys. I've been out here by three hours, haven't caught a fish. I lost one. That was the only bite I've gotten today. Um, it's been rough. I've tried deep. I've tried just about every bait I could think of. Um, I fished these back coves where I thought they'd be pushing up, maybe getting ready to spawn. I fished shallow and uh, just nothing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the boat out and I'm going to go to another lake. Try that for a little while and hopefully I can catch a couple fish. Uh, you guys stay tuned. I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, just got to spot number two. I actually came down here to the spillway where I do a lot of my videos. And uh, yeah, the water's kind of like I like it. Not too high, not too low, just right. So we're gonna go out here, see if we can get on a couple of them. Throw jigs, swim jigs, whatever we can catch them on. I'll see you guys when I'm out there fishing. There's one, guys. Got him. Oh, wow. I was not expecting him. Oh, good fish. Woo! -hoo. Finally. Oh, yes. Nice quality fish here, guys. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice chunk. Look at this. Got lipstick on. He, uh, He's been eating those crawfish for sure. Finally, guys, it's been rough. Oh. He ate the old 4D jig. It's a custom color that I made. There's one. There's one, guys. Another solid one. Oh, yes. Another solid one, guys. There's number two. You guys can see he got the red lips, too. Nice, beautiful lipstick. All right. Caught him right off these bushes right here, right on the edge. Just tossing this little jig in there and, uh, Letting it bounce off the those those bushes and I felt him hit it. May I figure something out here. Caught two. Caught two and then I uh, broke one off. It seems like the farther I go back, the more bites I'm getting. Sorry about that audio too guys. I know it sounds like crap because the wind picked up. There's one. Good one, guys. Good fish. He almost knocked the rod out of my hands. Oh, wow. Oh, my God, guys. This is a giant. This is a giant. Holy smokes. Check. 
giant, guys. Giant, giant, giant. Look at this guys, I think I just caught my PB. I think I just caught my PB. I think I just caught my PB guys. Wow, no freaking way. Look at this, look at this guys. Look at this fish. What in the world? Seven, seven, eight. New PB guys. New PB. <laughs> Woo! Look at that fish. Oh my God. I'm shaking, guys. Look at this. My hands are freaking shaking. Wow. There you guys have it. The biggest fish of my life so far. You guys saw it here. You guys witnessed it. Look at this guys, I think I just caught my PB. Oh, let me get my camera so we can get a shot of her getting released. Thank you so much baby, this one deserves a kiss. Guys, I was so freaking excited. I didn't even get a picture with my phone. <laughs> oh, I didn't get a picture for Instagram or nothing, but I'll take a couple screenshots and post it on Instagram. Thanks to Mike. Appreciate it, Mike. 4D fishing, jigs, catching PBs out here. This jig is actually one of the ones I made when I went to, to your shop, Mike. So if you watch when you watch this, thank you. Started to kind of notice a pattern, guys. I'm starting to notice a lot of these fish are sitting up on kind of like shallow flats like this right here. Most of the ones I've caught were like that. I've been trying to uh, fish around these stumps and stuff, and I really haven't got bites. But well, every time I run into a, a shallow flat or like kind of like a sandbar type looking deal. I'm kind of, I either get a bite or I've caught a fish on it. So I think, think they may have something to do with them getting ready to spawn. There's a bite right there. Oh, I just got a bite right there, guys. 
and I was just talking about it right there. Like, see that little sandbar right there? That's that's kind of what the deal is today. I, I'm starting to figure these fish out a little bit. And you guys probably are thinking, well, the whole all the all of it looks looks like that. Well, that's not quite true. If you look on this side, see, there's a lot of a lot of trees in the water on this side. This side is more of a, a sandbar. The, uh, I've caught two fish on this side and one on the other side. And the one I caught on the other side was actually on a sandbar kind of like this if you go back. Right in that brush. Another solid one, guys. Oh, yes. Good fish. Number four. Another solid, solid fish. Probably another two pounder. All right, all right, all right. Everybody calm down with the hand claps and the and the cheering and the thumbs up because I caught my personal best. Calm down, calm down. I'm just messing with you guys. Now I'm headed home, guys. I took the boat out the water. I'm headed home. Uh, I was gonna do my outro there at the at the lake, but there was a lot of people there and I was just trying to get out the way. So I said I'll do it on the way home. Started off to a rough start. I ended up going to one lake early this morning. I lost one fish and I don't know how many hours out there. I think like four hours I lost one fish and that was the only bite I got out there. So, took the boat out the water, went home, regrouped, and I went out to my, uh, my hot spot, which is the spillway. And uh, as you guys saw in the video, caught my PB. Man, I was so excited. It ain't every day that you go out there and catch almost eight pound bass. I mean, that's the biggest bass I've ever caught. And a lot of you probably have caught way bigger ones. So, you guys get down in that comment box. Let me know what your PB is. I want to see who has the biggest PB out of everybody down in the comments. And uh, yeah, you guys let me know. As you guys saw, this was my PB. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big, big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet hit it. And most importantly, guys, don't forget to keep it real. It's your boy, Eddie, and I'm out. Peace.